the glitter flames. Today we're going to be making a bedroom for Blondie Locks. So this is my Blondie Locks doll. I got her when I was in San Diego visiting my grandma. So um, I really like her. So I decided that it's time to make her a bedroom. So um, what we're going to be using is I found this box. It's for Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. My and dad buys a bunch. A bunch. So, um, as you see, these boxes, they fold out like this. So, I was thinking we can make a really cool bedroom. Like, we design it all in here. And then when we want to put away... Audrey made a bedroom kind of like that. But it was actually going to be a closet for Maddie. And it was kind of like that. Like, yeah, it's... um Right now, it's Lizzie's room. Yeah. At first, it, it would be like that. And it's still like that. But now we use it for a bedroom. Yeah, so we're going to probably cut off the tabs and stuff like that. So um, we're super excited. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is a piece of cardboard. And um, this type, I'm making the bed that I'm going to be making her. It's not the type that she's going to, like, totally lay down in. I want her head to be able to go up like that. That's how I made Anna's bed. I made hers so that she's kind of, like, sitting up. I mean, she's still laying, but, like... So Her this, back is up a little. So this is the perfect size. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to take my little box right here, and I'm going to cut off the tabs. Okay, so here's the basic part. We cut so off I'm, the tabs on we, the side. We cut off this one tab. It was. It used to be like this. But now what we're going to be doing, we're going to be going like this. So then there's more room to play, and we can always fold it up once we're done. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut off these two tabs. <laughs> okay, so I got both of I got both of these two tabs. So um, now I have this one piece of cardboard that was up here. So um, I already have this one piece of cardboard that I measured for her bed. So now what I'm going to do I'm going to I want two of them so it's so it's nice and big. So what I'm going to do I'm just going to make another one out of this piece of cardboard. So I'm just going to cut out a duplicate. Okay, so um. <laughs> okay, so here it is. Um, I just want to make sure that she can still fit on it, and yes, she can. Alright, so now what I'm going to do, um, for the simple bedroom, what I want to do, I picked out two colors, and her two colors are blue and, um, and yellow. So um, I think for the ground, I'm going to have it yellow, because um, <laughs> I think she has more blue than yellow. So I'm going to glue this down, and I'll show you guys. Okay, so I just glued down this, um, the yellow, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get, where my scissors? Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Um, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut my blue, um, into this shape. It's just a rectangle, and what I'm going to glue down right here. So, I'm just going to take this, and I'm going to glue oh, it. I need this scissor. Okay. And... Now I'm going to, now as you see I have like some brown along here, so I'm going to fill okay, that in with see. blue, so I'm going to take it's a little bit of blue, <laughs> and I'll fill it in. Um, I think she, if I had to say what is her favorite color, I think it would be blue because she just has a lot of blue on her dress. Yeah, her dress is so cute. Um, because I don't think her favorite color is yellow because yellow is her only, is just her hair color. That's why she's called blondie, not yellowy. Uh, so, um, now I'm going to do, I'm just going to blue. That just be a weird name, blue. Um, yellowy. Hi, yellowy. Hi, blue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it's, I've covered it, but now I have to do the other side. So, um, I'm going all the way up with my blue on... So I kind of want it to just like cover. I have to fold part of this down. There we go. So now I'm going to take my other blue and I'm just going to cut out the shape that I'm needing. And I'm going to glue it on. Um, now the last room that I made was Cupid's, which I just put a video out for that. I just up uploaded it before I started this video. So you guys can literally just before she started this video. Just before. So you guys can go watch that. It's called um, Cupid's um, Ever After High Cupid's Bedroom. So you guys can go to his bedroom. So you guys can go check that out if you want.
Okay, now, um, this is what it looks like. Um, now, um, I'm not going to do the back of it because I'm probably going to put a table or something. And a bunch of pictures. Hello. Alright, so here's, um, her bed. Now, I'm going to want to make it a, um, probably a bunk bed. So, right up oh, here. Oh, a bunk bed. Good idea. So, I'm just going to go oh. right up in there. Are you going to have a ladder? Um, probably. Go? Um, I have an okay. idea for that, so. I know. How yeah. I know. Okay, so um, I'm getting a blue piece of paper because I don't have much blue uh, in her room right now. And I'm going to make sure that I can, I'm going to cover my whole bed in the blue. And this is just the paper that I was using before. Um, it's just construction paper. This actually feels really nice. And now I want to get this. And I'm going to fold my edges in. It's kind of hard to fold in your edges when they're not big. Because when they're not bigger, I it's kind of hard to just fold them. So you have to be kind of careful with these. And sometimes I use the table to push it like that. I'll fold it over. We only do that like when there's a lot of um, wool, when there is hot glue against the edge where our fingers will have to go. Can That's I have a glue stick, it. please? So um, I'm just going to fold these over and I'll show you once I'm done. Okay, so here it is. And since it's going to be a bunk bed, I'm going to be able to see under here. So I'm going to get another piece. Wait, uh, bunk bed with who? Oh no, it's it's just gonna be um oh, just like a tie. So now I'm going to get these and uh, um a piece of yellow paper and I'm just going to glue it right on here. That looks like somebody else's hand. It's up closer by the camera so. <laughs> And I'm just going to put this right down on here. There we go. And now I'm just going to cut around. So I'll show you guys once I'm done. Okay, so here it is. Now, um, I'm going to do the blue side up because I want the yellow to be facing down. I just think it would look a little bit cooler. So, um, the first thing before I put my bed in, I have to cover the walls. So I'm going to pick out my color. Okay, so um, Sammy's grabbing my blue paper when I'm waiting. I am going to cover... Okay, so I'm going to cover my walls. Samantha, would you like to help me? Sure. Okay, so what Sammy and I are going to do, we're going to each take a piece of paper. And we're going to cover the walls. Okay, so um, I'm just going to take this and we're going to cover them. Okay, so um, now what I need to do, Sammy, are you able to glue this up in here for me? Now, I think I'll do... Now, the fabric that I'm going to be using is the... I thought the yellow was going to be at the top. Yeah, it's going to. Uh, I'm going to grab my fabric. So I have this really cute fabric, and this is what it looks like. That's the fabric that I used for Anna's bed. So I'm going to do... I'm going to cut it out. And then I'll show you guys. Okay, so I just finished cutting it. So, um, I want to make sure that it can fit on here. And it can. Um, Sam, are you able to glue that down? I, I just want this part glued down. Sure. You should probably... No. Mm -mm. going to go like this. No, no, no. Right there. Okay, so here it is. Now what we're going to do, thought, we're going I to glue to into the... Oh, no, you don't have to do it there. Okay, um, so what you, okay, so what I need you to do, you're going to go all along here. And right there. Okay? Wait, don't you want to glue that no. down? No. I got it. Okay, so now we're ready to glue it into the wall. Sam, do you want to glue it into the wall for me? You can just go zoop, zoop, right there. Are you ready to cut this? Nope, just go right all along there. Um, but don't do that side. Just do... 
Just do this like that. Okay? Well, so we're going to glue this into the wall. Well, Sammy is gluing that in. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make the ladder. Can so you get me a glue stick quick? Mm-hmm. Here, I can finish it. Wait, what do you mean glue really cool stick? And now we're just placing it in. We want to hold it there just to make sure that it really gets in there. Oh, and it didn't get in. Sam, are you able to hold that there for me? Okay, so we're going to glue this in and we'll show you. Okay, so we just finished putting it in. Um, now what we're going to do, we're going to secure it. And just to secure it, what I'm doing, I'm getting a popsicle stick and I'm doing two slants right there. And I'm going to glue it right in there. Right there. Right there. There's a string. Yeah. And then hold it there until it drops. Okay, now um, for the ladder, what I'm doing, I'm going to get two straws. And I'm going to cut them to a desired length. And right there. So I'm going to then take my extra popsicle sticks. I mean, not, um, not my popsicle sticks, my straws, and I'm going to glue them into a ladder position. Okay, so um, here's the room so far. So um, as you see, right there's the little ladder, and then I have um her bed up here. So um. I will get her pillow. I have a few already made, so I'll just take from there. But um, this is really what her room's going to be, and now you can just decorate it however you want. So she can sit up here. You can even dance around in here. And she likes to have little tea parties in here. So um, thank you guys for watching Blondie Locks' tutorial on how to make her bedroom. So guys, next time, please subscribe and like. That room is just right.